what's up everyone welcome back to my channel i am actually getting ready to go to physical therapy so i'm in my comfy clothes but i have a full face of makeup as you can see because i just went to shoot some pictures i don't think they came out well but it's just me and my tripod so i did the best that i could may or may not post them on my instagram but we'll see um it's just for fun you know but i like to try to be consistent on my page just because I don't know i like to but yeah i'm getting ready to head to physical therapy and then today will be a fun day of like self-care and just relaxing so just wanted to give you that little update and i will catch up with you guys in a little bit all right i am back home and my apartment <laughs> is literally in shambles i love how i said this day was going to be a self-care day and i ended up just like ripping apart my closet I just fully feel like I am outgrowing this space, especially like clothing wise. So I just want to donate a bunch of stuff, especially during the holiday season where I know people need it. So I'm just like separating things, trying to make piles, but it doesn't really look like it. And figuring out what things I want to keep, what things I want to donate and just things to kind of get rid of. So that is my current status. Let's see how long this takes. All right guys, so I came to H&M Home and they have a few new pieces. I'm swooning over this candlestick holder. I just, I feel like I might need it, I don't know. And this vase is so pretty. Let's see what the price is on this. $17.99 for one of them. Hmm, I don't know, I have so many already, but this one's gorgeous. We've got a few holiday things in. Really pretty. This section over here is very bohemian. I used to love bunny tail. And these are actually really pretty, but I don't have them in my home anymore. Some more decor over here. Reds. This is really cute. They kind of have it laid out as like a little tablescape for the holidays. Very cute. These candlesticks are a classic. Good morning, family. So I just <laughs> got my hair cut. As you can see, it is larger than life. We didn't have time to like style it and, and wash it again because I got there a little late thanks to the New York City subway system. But yeah, she shaped it and just did a really nice job of like filling in the gaps where I had holes. By the way, I go to Filament Hair Salon, it's in Soho. And now I'm on my way to get my nails done. I'm trying a new spot because the last spot completely wrecked my nails. I'll go ahead and show you um, what my nails are looking like right now. They look absolutely insane. They all broke within a week of me getting them done. So I won't say the name of that salon <laughs> because I don't want to hate on anybody, but some of you may have seen my previous videos where I went there, so um, maybe it's worth looking into another place. I'm right now going to Soho Nails, so let's see if I have a better experience there. Hey guys, um, I'm looking a little crazy right now, but I figured I'd do a little get ready with me for Christmas. It's actually Christmas Eve today. That's when my family celebrates. It's called Noche Buena. We usually get together like during the evening and then all the kids will open their gifts at midnight. And then the next day it's more like intimate with um, my like immediate family, my mom, my sister, you know. So I have about 10 minutes to get ready. <laughs> I, these days I can't get it together. I'm just like always running behind. But yeah, I'm gonna try to do this makeup as quickly as possible. So yesterday, you would have seen that I got my hair cut. It was a little wild yesterday because we didn't have to, time to style it in the salon. So I just like got home, washed it myself. So now it's like a little more curly, but you can kind of see the cut a little better. Obviously I have my hair like up right now just so it's out of my face so I can do my makeup, but I'll show you it a little better 
when I take it down. I'm really happy with it though, like my hair feels so much healthier, just like springier, bouncier, and lighter. I'm glad I got that done. And then I also went to get my nails done. Let's see if you can see. I did a little French set, but with like nude colors. And this hand looks great. This hand, the shape is a little crazy, but then I was a little disappointed because literally yesterday, I got them done yesterday when I got home, and my thumbnail, the gel already peeled off. So it was supposed to be like this. This nail is just like completely peeled off <laughs> the same day that I got them done. That was annoying. I'm like struggling to find a good nail place in New York. So if you guys know of a nice place that you like, hit your girl up, let me know. Cause I need to get these nails in check. I, I did say to myself though, that this is the last time I was gonna do like gel and stuff because my nails, oh my goodness, they just like all broke. It was so bad. I went and donated clothes the other day and it was just nice. I, I actually still have a bunch of coats that I need to donate. So if anyone knows like a good coat drive, um, I'm looking into that because they're actually never even worn coats. They have their tags on them. I had just ordered them from Misguided like last winter and they were too big on me and I just like never got around to returning them. I had like created the return label, never got around to it. So they've just been sitting in my apartment for a year, unworn, brand new. And I feel like it would just be nice to donate them to someone in need, especially during this winter season where it's freezing outside. I feel like I'm not doing my best job right now. It's always like when you want your makeup to look good that it doesn't and then when you're literally not trying it just like happens to look its best. And she is ready. This is the full fit. I'm wearing this turtleneck from H&M. This, I don't know what you would call this. It's like a blazer vest dress. So cute from Zara. I just love like this side opening detail. I think even in the summertime with like a little bralette, it would be so cute and some leggings. I love the gold buttons as well. I'm just wearing some leggings and then these sock booties. I've gotta remember where I got these from, but they're so comfortable. The heel is like pretty low. And as you can see, they just blend seamlessly in with the leggings. So that's my fit. I'll come up a little close so you can see how my makeup turned out my hair i just like the clean kind of vibe black and white you know very classy very cute and i think it does look kind of christmasy it feels a little christmasy to me so i'm gonna head out i've got to get the pasta salad from the fridge and then i'm gonna go also these little rings i think i got them at like h m or forever 21 they're just super you know those like cheap little rings but i really like how they look guys we are up and at him today um i really didn't get much sleep last night because i got my booster dose let's see if you can see my little band-aid there but i ended up waking up this morning really early and just going ahead and taking some painkillers so my arm is finally starting to feel better and like i can actually do things so i started to prepare my matcha but i actually wanted to show you as you can see it's all here um, I wanted to show you my latest secret ingredient that makes it so, so good. I actually found it on Instagram, but over the summer I was kind of giving up on matcha, at least making matcha at home. I was always buying it after a while because I just found that it didn't taste as good as in the stores. But this recent recipe that I found on Instagram is so good. So I'm going to just show you how I make it and what I add to make it really delicious and to kind of remove that bitter taste. Okay, I have you guys on my tripod, so hopefully you can see me okay, but I already have the matcha in here. 
I don't know if you can see that, but um, it's already prepared with the water. I use about a third of a cup water to a teaspoon of matcha and then have my cup of ice. Uh, usually I put more, but I don't have so much ice today. Now, if you like oat milk, this is the best oat milk that I've found hands down. It's the Chobani oat, plain but extra creamy. The extra creamy, it, like, it really tastes like just regular cow's milk, but so good. Um, so I will use a cup of this and just kind of measure that out. Okay, that's good. And the secret key ingredient, this is what will bring your matcha to the next level, is leche condensada. <laughs> so if you don't know, this is um, sweetened condensed milk. It's super thick, as you can see. It's really yummy. I will use about two tablespoons of this. And I'm kind of just eyeballing. That's a big glob. It's not healthy for you, but it tastes good. <laughs> All right, so now that I have that in there, I'm gonna add my cup of oat milk. And then top it off with the matcha. Let's see if I can make this pretty for you guys. Yeah, and that is it, guys. That'll make your matcha super creamy and delicious. Let's get a straw and mix this baby up. And you really got to stir it because, like I said, the condensed milk is very thick. So you want to make sure you get it all out from the bottom. But this, I have been making this now for like this whole week and it's so good. Like I said, not healthy for you, but it's really tasty. All right, now that my matcha is done, I'm probably just gonna make some toast to go with it and just sit down and have my breakfast and we'll see what I get into for the rest of the day. So I am still finishing up with my matcha, as you can see. I think I made it too sweet today, but it's fine. Um, I did just throw on this jacket because my apartment is still freezing. I mentioned that in my last video and you guys told me to get a space heater, which I do want to do, but I'm just trying to figure out where I would store it, like when it's not in use, but I think I just have to like go for it and just get one already because I can't like keep freezing in my apartment. Anyway, this jacket, I love it. It's from Target. My cousin actually wore it for Thanksgiving and I was like, I need that. And luckily for me, they were having their Black Friday sale, so I got it for I think it was only $35 and it was originally 50. So definitely see if you guys can find this online. I love it, it's so cozy. But I actually just wanted to pop on here to talk about Dossier. They have kindly partnered up with me for this portion of the video. So I'm super grateful to Dossier. As you guys know, I've talked about them so many times on my channel. I wore one of the perfumes yesterday and it stood on for the whole day. Um, let me actually go get it now, I'll be back. Okay, so here it is. It's the Floriental Almond Scent. This is what the packaging looks like. They've got like magnetic caps, which is so cool. I don't know if I've said that before, but I love how sleek and clean the packaging is. So this scent I actually had since the summertime and I tried it in the summer, but I felt like it was more of like a wintry kind of nighttime scent. This is Floriental Almond. It is the dupe for Good Girl by Carolina Herrera and it's just so good. I've always been a fan of the Good Girl perfume and when I saw that they had this on the website many months ago, I purchased it and mm, it's so good. It's very rich, very sweet, which I tend to gravitate towards. I love sweet scents, but I do kind of want to mix it up and kind of get more fresh scents too, but they've got so many options on their website and I was just thinking about how great it would be to like walk into the new year with a new fragrance. I really believe that fragrances can be tied to memories. So if you want to just kind of create new memories in the new year, what better way to do it than with a new perfume? And these are super affordable. They are dupes for high-end luxury perfumes. So I feel like this is just such a great and easy option. And I believe most of their scents are as low as $25. So 
definitely get onto their website, start your new year with a fresh fragrance. And I believe many of their fragrances start as low as $25. So definitely get on their website, start your new year with a new scent and create those new memories. I will be doing the same. So thank you again to Dossier for sponsoring this portion of the video. And now let's move on to the rest of our day. So I'm just heading up around the apartment now and I was just about to put away all my Christmas gifts, like really find places to put them. And I figured why not show you guys what I got. Christmas in my family is all about the kids. So ever since I turned 18, I haven't really been getting, you know, huge gifts, but I'm always grateful for anything that I receive. And um, I love just the idea of like exchanging gifts and seeing everyone's reaction. So I just got a few little tidbits, but why not show you guys what I got? And I also purchased a gift for myself, so I'll show you that too. The first gift, do you guys remember when I was talking to you about my friend who I watch Hot Ones with? I got the Hot Ones game. Um, this one's Truth or Dab, so it comes with the last dab. I'll show you. Um, the hot sauce itself is in the fridge, obviously, because you gotta keep that refrigerated, but it comes with these cards. It's a bunch of different, like, some are trivia cards, some are, like, just, I don't know, regular questions. And some are, like, truth cards, what's the best prank you've ever pulled off. Some of them are, like, simple, but some of them get really spicy. It was really fun. We played just the two of us, and it was fun. But it's better, obviously, when you have, like, three or more players. I think it says three to six players on the game. And then it also comes with these little plastic spoons for when you have to like dab with the hot sauce. <laughs> it's really cute. So I got this game, that was the first gift that I received. And apparently something else is coming in the mail for me, so we'll see. Then I got the makeup eraser. I actually already have one of these and I've been using it for like two years. It's the best way to take off my makeup I find. I usually double cleanse, but this is so good. So I'm happy to have another one. I got the Estee Lauder foundation. This is the Futurist Hydro Rescue. It's my favorite one, and I have it in the shade Tawny. Um, I got a few other tidbits from Sephora. So I got the Urban Decay All Nighter Face Primer. And also, this is a lip gloss that my sister had on one day, and I was like, I need that. I love it. So it's the Milani soft rose lip gloss it was really nice on her so i hope it looks good on me too and then i lastly received a couple of gift cards um vanilla gift cards and their visas so you can pretty much use these anywhere and i definitely will be um and then for myself i've been really wanting those chunky boots that you see everywhere so i went on pretty little thing i found them and they are so good I can't wait to wear these. So they're just like this beigey color. Um, they've got the zipper on the side. I've tried them on and they look nice. So I'm really happy with these. And yeah, those are all the Christmas gifts really. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these away now. And then I think I really want to get rid of my Christmas decorations. <laughs> I feel like Christmas just passed, but I'm like over it. I don't know, I just feel like I'm ready to just put my other stuff back because also I don't have space for it, so it's just like sitting out. I'll show you guys. So as you can see, all of the extra decor is just here like on the side of my nightstand because I don't really have a place for it. So I just feel like I'm ready to not have things cluttered and I just want to clean up the space a little bit and put things away. So that's what I'm going to go ahead and do right now. I just pulled out my Christmas decor box to put stuff away. Why is it so small? Like, <laughs> these are stuff that's like already in there from last year and I didn't use them this year because I didn't have a tree. But I can't fit anything in here. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with this. <laughs> I probably will just put the village houses and the mini stockings in here those and those and then the rest of the stuff i'm just gonna have to find a different place for them and it's already full <laughs> i managed to fit the stocking holders there too but i'm gonna close this bad boy up 
I still have these Christmas cones, the garland, and all of these pine cones to put away. So we'll see what happens there. Um, and I also have these reindeer. Actually, I can probably squeeze the reindeer in there too. This little tree and then the gnome that I have to put away too. I just remembered about those things. And the Christmas towel that's hanging in my kitchen. So I've got to figure that out. I might have to just get another box because this is too much stuff. I have just cleared off the TV stand. I honestly forgot how white the top is. And it's not completely white, it's a marble as you can see. But it looks so good. I feel like I only had that garland up for like two weeks, but it just made it feel a little cluttered. I know this kind of looks cluttered right now also because I have so many books on it. But obviously these pine cones are going to go. I just need to find a space for them. And yeah, that is how it looks now. Guys, really, what did I think I was fitting in that box? <laughs> I mean, please tell me. I still have the cones there, the trees, the garland, the pine cones, whatever. I'm over it. <laughs> Do you guys remember those coats I said I wanted to donate? I just pulled them out. <laughs> I figured I'd show you what I mean by they're way too big on me and just how they fit. And then I actually did end up finding a place to donate them to. Unfortunately, it's a school that's accepting donations, so I don't think they're open right now because it's winter break. I just called and nobody picked up. So I think I'm gonna have to wait to give them away, but I still wanted to pull them out and just have them ready to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you that now. As you can see, these are brand new coats with the tag still on. They are a US size six. So I don't know why they fit like this, but they must be just extremely oversized. Okay, here is coat number one. Misguided does this weird thing with their clothing where they add this big string and I didn't want to take it off just so that it was still new. But what am I, like I'm a full on marshmallow right now. What is happening? I just look like I have no shape. And this jacket is actually super oversized. So look at just how much bigger this jacket is compared to the jacket. It's just like, it's not doing anything for me. Next is this one. I actually really love the color, but for some reason it makes my arms look like I'm a stuffed turkey. Like the body part is kind of cute when it's open, but the reason I bought this was to have like a true winter's coat for New York. And when I zip it up, this part is like super snug on the bottom. And then the part on the top is very puffy, as you can see, like my arm. It just looks very funny. So these didn't work out for me, but they will be of good use for somebody else. So I'm excited to give these away and maybe help somebody else who needs them. Anyway, guys, as you can see, I'm super bored and just basically talking for the fun of it at this point. So I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go. I hope you're having a fantastic week and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.